Ken, thank you. Now to a developing story out of Hartford. Still no sign of a woman who's been missing for a week. Crews are out there searching for Tashwana Jackson, focusing on one area in particular in the capital city. News 8's Brian Spiros has more on the search and the investigation. Police are focusing their search inside Keeney Park. This is a heavily wooded area, and they're getting help today from family, friends, and members of the community. Right now, I got so many mixed emotions, I can't choose one right now. Tasha Fitch is holding on to hope that her daughter, Tashana Jackson, will be found safely after she went missing one week ago. A lot of the indicators in this investigation have led to some great concern for us. According to Deputy Chief Brian Foley, Jackson was last seen getting into a car with a man she knew not far from Keeney Park. That's the last time anyone would hear from her. Lord, we pray today that as we go out on this stretch, dear God, that you go with us. Today, this large group came together to help police search for her inside the park. They trudged their way through the brush looking for anything that would help with the investigation joining countless police and 13 canine units. It's good to see the community pulling together. This is about us being together and helping to find Tashana. Right now, police are not saying what leads them to believe Jackson is in the woods. They tell News 8 they have searched the car she was last seen getting into and spoke to the driver. Right now, he is not a suspect. As the search for Jackson intensifies, many are also thinking of her five-year-old son. He knows a little bit about what's going on, but he's not exactly sure. I don't want him to know completely everything. We're hoping for the best, uh, but preparing for the worst. Police are making headway with this case. However, they are asking for more witnesses. If anyone knows anything about Jackson's disappearance one week ago, you were asked to give Hartford Police a call. Reporting from Hartford, Brian Spiros, News 8.